What's up everybody? The old bandit's back with another video. It is a beautiful sunny day. No chance of rain. That noise, that loud noise you hear every now and then, that sounds like thunder. Don't worry about that. Just, just forget you don't hear it. We are going to be sheep's head fishing today. We have got a major storm system coming in. Don't have long to fish at all. We do have some protection under this bridge if it starts getting bad. We've got some live shrimp and we're gonna try to try to herd up some of these sheep. We're on a mission today. I'd like to get at least six nice sheep's head. I want to smoke them and make a smoked sheep's head fish dip for y'all. It is going to be absolutely incredible. But first, we got to catch some convicts. Got some live shrimp. Fixing to put them on a hook, drop them down. Wish us luck. If you love sheep's head fishing content, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. Enough talking. Let's get in here and catch some fish. All right, very simple setup. We've got our bait caster. We've got 20 pound braided line to 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Just a regular standard quarter ounce jig head. You know, they make a lot of different combinations. They make sweeper jigs. They make swivel headed jigs, everything. Ooh, that's lightning. Everything like that for targeting in sheep's head. But easiest way I found, a regular simple jig head will work just fine. Want to make sure it has a big... Yep, I was thunder. Want to make sure it has a very, very sharp hook. Get in here, get us a nice, juicy live shrimp the way i like to hook these i just go in and i just feed it through the whole whole shrimp right out just like that nothing fancy nothing special oh yeah uh that was uh That's not nice. Ooh, that's not nice at all. Not a warm and fuzzy feeling, fellas. I only have one afternoon a week I can go fishing, and that's Friday afternoon. So, that's why we're here. Yep, here's the rain. Maybe this wasn't the best idea in the world. All right, here we go, here we go. Fish on, baby. A oh, gosh dang flounder. <laughs> we are gonna put a tag in that guy all right let's get a length on this guy we are going to tag him and release him we're looking at a closed mouth 12 inch flounder take a tag put in him right about there all right we have got that fish recorded. And we're gonna safely release this guy. See you, dude. All right, bye-bye. All right, got another live shrimp. See if we can get the target species. All right, here we go. There we go, there we go. We got us a sheeps, y'all. We got us a sheep. Not a huge one. But like I said, we want to keep about six today to make our smoked fish dip. And he is for sure going to keep. Not a stud, but he is 
a little over 16 inches. We'd be putting him in the box. That weather had gotten real rough. Man, I'm glad it moved over. Like I said, I only get one afternoon a week I can fish, try to get a video out for y'all. So I'm gonna be out here. Rain, shine, cold, hot. I just throw it out there, let it sink on the bottom. I'll give it a couple of bumps. Wait and see if I feel anything. A couple of bumps. Wait and see. Yep, I just felt something. Felt more like a flounder bite. All right, he's on there. I think it's a little flounder. Let's go. Yep. Got another flounder. We're going to tag him as well. Another little flounder. 11 and a half inches. All right, little dude. Get you some jewelry. All right, little dude, you got a nice shrimp meal and you got you some jewelry. See ya. Trying to get better at cleaning my lens off. Hate I had that water spot on my lens on the last video. Rookie mistake, y'all. Trying to get better. There was just so much action and so much going on, I forgot about the camera. Look at that, look at that. I seen him come up and get it, y'all. Seen him come up and get it. He's on there, he's on there. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> He just came right up and hit it. He's not a big one, <laughs> but it's so cool watching those fish come up and eat that shrimp. He is a 16 inch sheeps. Not as big as they were the other day, but like I said, we're wanting to make some smoked fish dip and these fish will be perfect for that get in the box he's on he's on there he is oh that's a better fish that's a better one oh yeah well i thought he was better he's still a good fish that joker was running straight Straight to them piling. Sheep's head number three. Need right at 17. All right, dude, get in the box. Y'all make sure y'all watch the whole video because I'm gonna show you a very, very good way to clean these sheep's head. And then we're gonna season them, put them on the smoker, smoke them up real nice we're going to eat a few of them for dinner tonight smoked and then we're going to make a absolutely awesome smoked sheep's head dip and you can use this same recipe with redfish with mullet any type of fish like that and if you hadn't already give my channel a subscribe i'd appreciate it really help my channel grow We'll be doing a lot of sheep's head content this winter along with trout fishing, red fishing. And y'all know if y'all been following my channel, when the flounder are in, I will be flounder fishing. All right, let's put another live shrimp on the hook and herd up these sheep. We need about three more. Uh-huh. I got him up time. I got him that time. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. It is amazing how hard these fish can fight. That big flat body, when they roll up sideways, 
they have got some force. That's the best one of the day right there. There we go. That's more of the caliber fish we were catching on the last video. 19 and three quarters. And in case you missed the last video, we'll show you how to bleed these fish out. Just take your finger, just raise that fin up right there and just push in, just like that. And those fish will bleed out. I do my redfish the same way. Right in, just like that. And they will bleed out. It'd be freaking awesome. They seem to be stacked right there around that one bridge piling for whatever reason. All right, getting the bump. All right. There we go. Got another good one. Got another good one. There we go. Not quite as big as the last one. Still a decent keeper sheep's head. dude get in the box the calm after the storm or should i say between storms we got more stuff coming all right all right there we go there we go got another one Not a huge one. Ah, there we go. Still a decent size sheep's head. Those fillets would be just right for the smoker. Sixteen and a half. All right, we only need about one or two more fish. And we will have mission accomplished. Glad to see the sun coming out. Boy, that storm was rough. There we go. There we go. Another sheep. Smallest one of the day right there. Still looking at right at, yep, 16 inches. Wasn't as small as I thought it was. Well, you know, you put a hook set on these sheep's head when it goes all the way through that bottom jaw. Think we catch one more? We'll have what we need. There we go. <laughs> Got another one, fellas. On a simple jig head. Another good fish, about 17, 16 and a half, 17. Nothing huge, no giants today. 
All right, mission accomplished. We've got our eight sheep's head. Now I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna show you the best way I have found to clean these sheep's head. They're real easy to clean. A lot of people say, oh man, they're horrible to clean. I love catching them, I hate cleaning them. Hey, I'm fixing to show you. I'm gonna show y'all an easy, easy way to clean these sheep's head and prepare them for the smoker. We're gonna smoke them up real, real nice and then make that awesome, awesome sheep's head dip. Stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss this. We'll see you at the cleaning table in just a second. All right, we are back at the house. I'm going to show y'all one of the best ways to clean these sheep's head. It's not a pain in the butt. Real simple, real easy. I'll be using my Sword 7-inch Flexi. I've been using this knife for about a year and a half on my flounder gigging and bow fishing charters. I've cleaned a ton of fish with this knife. It doesn't rust, stays super sharp, and it never ever sees fresh water, it stays on my boat. If you're interested in purchasing one of these knives, my affiliate link is down in the description below. All right, when you go to clean these sheep's head, don't go in here and start cutting a bunch of scales. These sheep's head have a dorsal fin flap right there. You can get the blade of your knife right up under there. I haven't even touched the scale yet. Apply just a little bit of pressure with that blade and it goes right in. Invert that knife, run it all the way up, right even with the eyeball. Come back down to the tail. Go from the bottom side, push that blade where you're parting those scales and you're not dulling your knife blade. Keep your finger on the backbone of that knife and you can feel every one of those rib bones and then just push and go right out the tail do the same thing on the other side come in here right in that flap blade right up to the eyeball invert the knife stay in that dorsal fin flap all the way out to the tail push from the bottom side Feel those rib bones, don't cut through them. Let the blade ride over them. And then gently push right out the tail. So that gives you clean sheep's head filet. That's the easiest way I have found to do it. Doesn't dull your knife, it's no struggle. Goes in like butter when you go under that dorsal fin flap. That's how I recommend cleaning your sheep's head. All right, we're gonna clean the rest of these sheep's head. Next time you see me, we will be in the kitchen. We're gonna be seasoning up these fish to put them on the smoker. All right, we've got our sheep's head fillets. We've got them in some grilling pans. We have took a paper towel and we have patted them dry. Make sure you cut out. There's a few bones that'll be in these fish right in those areas right there. Get your little knife, cut it out. There's only about four or five little bones right there. And that way there's no bones in the fillet. So we're gonna get some frog bone, blackened seasoning. Y'all watch my channel, y'all know I love the frog bone. And we're gonna put it a good heavy coat on these fillets. We're gonna get some Justin Wilson original Cajun seasoning. Put a little heavy coat on there and a little sea salt. Now notice we left the scales and skin on these fillets. That way we can set them just like that up on the smoker rack and they are ready for the smoker. All right, we're out by the smoker, getting our temperature up. We've got some hickory wood in there. You can use pecan wood, whatever you like. I just had hickory and I like the taste of the hickory. So we've got all of our sheep's head. This is eight sheep's head, which is 16 fillets. So we've got five people that's gonna be eating on these fish. So what we're gonna do is after we smoke all of them, we're gonna have a meal just off the smoked fish. And then all the fillets that are left, we will be showing y'all how to make the most awesome smoked sheep's head dip you've ever tasted. All right, we're gonna smoke these fish for about two hours at around 275. See you in just a minute. 
All right, I believe they're ready. Let's plate them up and go to the kitchen. All right, everybody, we're back in the kitchen. Just had an amazing meal, having that smoked sheep's head, some swamp stew, some homemade cornbread. So now I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome, awesome smoked sheep's head dip. This is a recipe that I have put together over the years, trying different things. And I think I've got it down to a science, y'all. It is so good. Started out doing it with mullet. This is the smoked mullet dip, but I'm using sheep's head. You can also use redfish. Uh, this is the ingredients for a pound of smoked meat. I've got about two pounds of smoked meat, so we're gonna double this. First of all, we're going in with one onion for now. We've got two eight ounce containers of Philadelphia cream cheese. <clears throat> we'll put that in the bowl. And in goes the second one. Got my good heifer old Mick right there. He's making sure I do everything just right. So, this is sour cream. Like I said, we're doubling up, so we're gonna go with two cups of the sour cream. One cup. Two cups of sour cream. We're gonna go with a half a cup of mayonnaise. Dukes is the only mayonnaise I like to eat. Love my Dukes. All right. Going in with two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. One. And two. And we're gonna go with one tablespoon of hot sauce. Uh, you can use the smoked Tabasco sauce, but here recently, I've started really liking this Chipotle hot sauce. And this will be the taste, right? I like things a little hotter than most, and I may add a little bit more. Let's put one more in there. There we go. And now we're gonna get our smoked mullet, put all our meat in there. When you smoke this fish like this, it's real easy to get that fish off. And basically just get your hands, just get in here, pull it all off of the skin. Real fast and easy. Like you saw before, we got all the bones out of it. So all we've got is just good smoked sheep's head meat going in. Just like that, just grab it, pulls right off the skin. Quick and easy. We're gonna get the rest of these done, be back in just a minute. All right, we've got all the sheep's head smoked meat off the scales and skin into the pot. <clears throat> now we're gonna add our frog bone. Add quite a bit of this Cajun seasoning really one of my favorite cajun seasonings on the market really really good i get it in my local rouse's store really like it we're going in with some sea salt and we keep mixing all right we got a rich cracker let's go in for a bite taste it see how it is <laughs> mm. oh, 
That is perfection, y'all. If y'all hadn't tried smoking your sheep's head and making this awesome sheep's head dip, you need to try it. Absolutely awesome. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all. See y'all next week.